My name is Apile Apile Sololo. I am a Journalism 4 student um, doing television at Rhodes University. During the Fees Must Fall protest, Apile Apile dedicated herself to capturing the grievances of other black women, whilst empowering herself as a journalist in a male-dominated field. As a result of one of the comments made by a vocal male speaker, Siseko Kumalo, she says that women were not treated in the same equal respect as men when they addressed issues with fellow protesters. Um, Kumalo pointed out the fact that he was saying, no, every time a female person speaks, you guys start chattering amongst yourselves. But when a male voice speaks, just like as I'm speaking now, you guys all keep quiet and listening, you cheer and whatever. But yeah, I, I think I was received very well because first and foremost, I'm a black student. Um, I am on NSFAS. I might dress differently to what my situation is at home, but some of them, the people who told me about the meeting in the first place, knew that they could trust me with that information and they could trust me to be at the meeting. And because of that, and people, the people who saw me at that meeting, I was received very well. She expresses how she found a balance between the role of being a journalist whilst not disconnecting herself from her personal involvement in the protest. So it was a difficult time because you didn't know whether or not to... There were some moments where you couldn't just have a camera out because it was too sensitive and too important um, for one's natural or non-camera attention. You couldn't just listen and have your camera here. You had to have your camera off and you had to listen. Your journalism had to be switched off sometimes. She explains how being a black female journalist empowered her during the protests. I felt, I felt empowered by what was I doing uh, because I was getting information out there. And for me, I wasn't necessarily at the forefront like um, women who were telling everyone what's up. People, women who were at the forefront, who were leading the entire thing and who were who took a stand and they were saying, guys, this is our agenda, we're meeting with management, this and that and that and that. I wasn't one of those people because I'm not that person who speaks in public. But the fact that I was black, I was a woman, I was within the, the, the protest and I wasn't afraid to go in front, of the, in front of the crowd and film. And I was respected for filming, you know. So don't wait to be empowered, empower yourself, especially as a journalist. Go, 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 go,